Hello, my name is Julianne. I'm an astrologer and in this video I want to talk about Saturn as it is the archetype of your spine and your backbone and particularly in these times where each of our backbone, archetypally speaking, through the lens of astrology is coming back to um, our ability to maintain inner peace. And that sounds really woo-wee and maybe a little bit soft, but um, I want to walk through why um, why that is the case and then in particular why that will become more and more important over the next few months as this year rounds out. So I'll put it up um, in the video here, but um, we're looking at Saturn in transit right now, and Saturn is in the sign of Pisces, which among literally an infinite number amount of other things, um, Pisces is forgiveness and peace, capital T truth, ultimate freedom, and anything to do with limitlessness. I say it's one of literally a million other things because Pisces is literally the archetype of infinity and the all and everything. Um, and so when Saturn passes through the sign of Pisces by transit, um, our work as Saturn would have it, because that's what Saturn signifies as our work, but it's, it's not really our work as our job would demand it, although sometimes these things align. Um, but when it comes to Saturn, it is our personal long-term work, how we are working with time and a process of maturation. So in the context of Pisces, which is, as I named all these things, the process of peace, the process of creativity, um, limitlessness, and higher knowing, in fact, unlimited knowing, Saturn's work is to constantly reference your own spine, your own backbone from a position of inner peace, and that peace is founded on an ultimate forgiveness. Which isn't to say we are people-pleasing and just letting shit happen, but it is saying that what we are, for lack of a better word, protecting at these times is peace as we each define it specifically. And so much of Saturn's work is testing out the edges of where and how we bring ourselves to peace. And in Pisces, so much of this is an ethereal process. It's not actually to do with any one right way, because in line with the infinite archetype of Pisces, we have this idea of non-linearity. And we have the idea, or the one, one way of looking at things, which is that, um, everything is happening at once <laughs> and each of us has ha, is an entire universe to ourselves and is perceiving everyone else as an entire universe to themselves and so what is my boundary versus what is your boundary can be two completely different things and moreover the question of what is my boundary is also also has infinitely many answers to that question. So this is a really profound time to be allowing yourself to test your boundaries experientially through an immersive process and allow yourself to be extremely brave um, in knowing when to say no, knowing when to push your limit, and trusting even even the slightest 
possibility, especially when it comes to challenging situations. At the time of recording this, we have the, the same Saturn forming a very tight square to Jupiter and Mars in the sky. And so it's also squaring Ven or opposing Venus, which is also making, so there's a T-square happening. And so there's an incredible amount of pressure being put on each of us to kind of take action on a big idea that we have that's all resting on our ability to constantly return to a place of inner peace as, as defined by Saturn. So where I'll end this is to say that right now, um, Saturn is ruled by Neptune at the final degree of Pisces as well. And so there is an extra dreaminess about all of this, this question of do we put up a boundary? Do we structure? Where's our edge? How are we exploring that edge? When it comes to our own backbone and our own personal authority. Um, and that's really the biggest dynamic that's kind of happening with Saturn right now, is it's being ruled by Neptune. Very shortly, on September 2nd, um, Pluto, arguably one of the most important planets in the astrology that I study, will move back into the sign of Capricorn. And that is significant because Saturn rules the sign of Capricorn. And so the most important heavy hitter planet that we look at in the sky to just get a reflection as to where we are growing and where we are changing, where we are evolving, very shortly will come to be ruled by this Saturn that I've been speaking to. And so what that kind of translates to is the next pass of Pluto, which is, by the way, the last pass of Pluto in the sign of Capricorn for our lifetimes no one on earth will um, experience this transit again of Pluto in the sign of Capricorn. So after, you know, through September, October, and November, Pluto will be in Capricorn and right at the end of, or maybe it's the beginning, just sometime in November, Pluto is going to go back into Aquarius and never touch Capricorn again. And so <laughs> September through November is a, just a huge closing out period. Um, and we haven't had that Capricorn, Pluto and Capricorn be ruled by Saturn and Pisces for the majority of the time that Pluto was in Capricorn. We had it, we experienced it for just a very short amount of time. Um, I think this would have been a year and a half ago or something, but this whole three months, Saturn and Pisces is going to be ruling Pluto in Capricorn. And so all of this, whatever this archetype around seeing, seeing a more universal picture, trusting your own authority and your own backbone in the scope and the context of a much greater picture that you will actually never have all the pieces to, um, really being, you know, the word diligent comes to mind, but also just discipline in our own maturation process at that time in, the, in this time especially as it comes to maintaining our inner peace and dare I say defending our own inner peace um, is going to be absolutely key to moving through this upcoming Pluto transit with incredible skillfulness and I say all of this but at the end of the day, everything that's just gonna happen is gonna happen. And astrology really, knowing astrology doesn't really change the fact that it's happening. I offer this just as a reflection um, to kind of zoom out and remind myself above all <laughs> um, that this piece of maintaining your own backbone. Backbone is really a Saturn word for me. Your spine, um, 
your own sense of values and responsibility and how you are using your life lifetime the, the material you have and the time that you have because time itself is also a material um doing so with just inordinate <laughs> amounts of peace and forgiveness and you know i think i was brought to share this after so many experiences of speaking to loved ones in my life recently um, about how this theme of being at peace in your inner self um, in the face of so much change in the face of volatility instability but also in the in the in the choices that we are making to be the people that we know ourselves to be and let ourselves evolve um, has everything to do at this time with being at peace with yourself and again sounds very woo sounds like a tall order but um, I just I wanted to kind of like pick this out and highlight it and share it because I think um, it's incredibly affirming and kind it's a it's a kind way to grow and um, I think that's worth sharing especially as this Jupiter Saturn square the Mars Saturn square continues to tighten and um, we can potentially be getting confused about what is you know like what to do with the tension my advice to myself to you is to continually reference your own inner peace and the strength that it takes to build your peace maintain your peace that's the only thing you need to be working on right now so if there's a situation that is causing you to shift out of your own inner peace you don't need to be building up strength in order to combat any perception of a, of a component outside of you. If you're building up strength, that should be put towards yourself in maintaining, bolstering, nourishing your own sense of inner infinite connectedness. So thanks for listening. Hope this is interesting and helpful. Um, I definitely offer one-on-one -on -one readings. So if you want to chat about how um, the Pluto, the Pluto in Aquarius and Capricorn signature showing up for you or about this Saturn and Pisces signature and how you are showing up to protect your inner peace or perhaps get some more insights from your chart about how maybe you might be naturally doing that and not be aware please reach out um, I will put my booking link in the bio so thanks so much and until next time